All right, guys, let's take a look at another glycine combat sub. Now, this colorway here is the GL0089. I know there is a ton of different colorways or versions or whatever you want to call it of the combat sub. This is the 42 millimeter with a 50 lug to lug. It's kind of a long lug to lug, but they turn down sharply. And this thing is crazy thin at only 10 and a half millimeter to that flat sapphire crystal, 22 millimeter lug width. So every time I get one of these in, I can't help but think that there's really no competition for this watch. There's no other dive watch that I can think of. Sound off in the comments if you can think of one that has these dimensions, the 42 by 50, in insane thin at only 10 and a half, and then crazy good price points. These constantly pop up on Drop, you know, the old Mass Drop site. And I think they're somewhere between 250 and 300. I could be wrong on that number. I haven't, uh, there's not a current drop right now, so I could be wrong on that. But even if they're like three or 350, guys, these have an ETA 2824 in them. And every time I put one on the time grapher, they perform great, including this one. They're plus minus five seconds easily. So, and it's Swiss made, you know, per the writing on the dial. I don't know where they're actually made, but regardless, um, you know, they, they're the movement Glycine is calling it is the GL224, but it's an ETA2824. 60 click bezel, and the bezel action is very snappy, and everything lines up. They have a nice size crown. I'll measure it here in a second. I want to say it's close to seven. It has a nice little pop to it. And then fully extended, this one actually has a very slight amount of wobble to it, but typically the ones I've had on here, I feel like you could pull a, a trailer or a truck with this thing or something like it. There's like no movement. The crown system on this is like crazy, crazy solid. So I forgot to measure the crown. Let's measure that right now. It's got to be close to seven if it's not. Yeah, so seven and a half. So, I mean... All of the measurements on this thing are just perfect. Nice polishing on the bezel sides and then nice brush work on the top. This one is two-toned, you know, with a gold tone and then ma matched up with that blue with a gold print. And then, here, let's zoom in. So you have that nice tone to it. It's not quite gilded. It's more gold. And even the handset, I guess you could call that gilded. But I love it. I think it works great. You have a, a very rich, you know, matte blue dial finish on this, printing, everything's printed on here. There's no uh, applied indices or anything like that. I would like to see s some further innovation with this model, actually. Let's take it up a notch, Glycine. They have the uh, backing now of, who bought them? Invicta, something like that. Um, they So they have massive, you know, revenue poten potential there, and they're exploiting it to the max which I dig it's because they're just such great watches anyway. So you can hate on them for whatever reason you want for the ownership, the corporate ownership, but the fact is the watch is still really good. This one is paired up with this, I'm assuming Italian rubber or something because it is very thick and very flexible and just smells, oh, it smells delicious. I love these vanilla infused uh, smelling straps because I'll put it on wrist and I'll forget. And then I'll do something like uh, adjust my hat or something like that. And I'll get, well, where's that? Vanilla. You know, and then, oh, yeah, it's my my watch. <laughs> so let me pop this uh, Seiko Tuna off wrist. And let's put the Glycine on wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's just crazy thin, guys. You know, and you can do different straps, different NATOs. Whatever you want to do, um, I would probably put it on, I, I know I'm a broken record on this, I would probably put it on that vulcanized rubber, the FKM. It's a little bit thinner. This one's kind of thick. Um, it's just not my style. But you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it wears great. And I'm not like maxed out, even with that 50 lug to lug. So you could probably wear this down to six and three, three quarter. I remember TGV making videos where he was wearing this and he's got a tiny wrist. And I think it's just because of the sharp turn down of the lugs on this so um you know if you have one of these or if you've tried one of these you know sound off in the comments let me know what you think on it uh, i i've everything i've had uh on the channel here has seemed to be a very good well-built watch so with uh 
I'm trying to remember if I've had any of them with any problems. I, I can't think of a single one. They've all been just great watches. So, you know, watch the secondary market. Watch that drop. You can probably put it so you have alerts. So if they release the combat sub or even the airman, um, there's another iconic, you know, unique watch that Glycine makes and goes on drop a lot for a really good price. So that's another one. Hopefully I'll get more of those on the channel at some point too, but um, just a great watch. So big thanks to my buddy Danny for sending this in. And then also big thanks to Ken for uh, allowing me a moment of time to do this video before I ship it off to you. So right after this video is done, it's headed out to you, Ken. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let me close you out with a loom shot here. You can see decent loom on this, a little bit brighter on the pip, the hour and minute seconds hand versus the printing on the dial. So another thing, I mean, it's not it's not like the, the loom is bad. It's not poor or anything like that. But, uh, you know, if Glycine or whoever's in charge over there, you know, take it up a notch. Put some C3X1 on this thing. You know, you you have some opportunities here to further advance this watch and make it so it is just a, um, a must-have for watch collectors. So I know Glycine's watching my video, so um, hit me up. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I have some ideas for you. I'll see you on the next vid.